bigger than Brewster. Most significantly, he's five inches taller. And, but with only a one-inch arm length advantage, measured from the armpit to the end of the fist, Vladimir is also 17 pounds heavier than Lehman Brewster coming into the ring. Rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. The Vladimir Klitschko-Lehman Brewster fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the unified rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions. There is no three-knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. In case the cut is caused by an accidental headbutt, we go to the scorecards if the four rounds have been completed and you cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the 12th and final round. Jim. All right, thank you very much, Harold. Vladimir Klitschko walks in first. As we mentioned in the feature piece, two fights since the loss to Corey Sanders, both against relatively unambitious opposition. Vladimir and his brother Vitali have moved more or less full-time to Los Angeles. The addition of Emmanuel Stewart to the stable, all part of trying to become more like American heavyweights. How important, Roy, is that to them? I think this is very important because it does away with that European style, that straight-up stance, which I think really hurt Vladimir in his fight against Corey Sanders. Now they're here in the United States so they can learn how to do a little bit more moving from side to side or lateral movement and mount them a different attack. So I think this will help them a lot. Uh, uh, the way he put the question that he feels everybody is asking of him now is, am I a sissy? <laughs> and when we asked him for the answer, he said, that's a conversation I'm having with myself. In other words, I'll show it to you in the ring. Well, the people who came in and bet late on Brewster must think that that conversation remains unresolved. As of yesterday this time, Vladimir was about a 10 to 1 betting favorite in the fight. As of earlier this afternoon, it was down to about 4 to 1. So obviously there were scads of Brewster money pouring into the sports book this afternoon. Klitschko not exactly reflecting a ton of energy in the ring. Now here comes Lehman Brewster, terrifically nice young man, born in Los Angeles, ultimately moved to Indianapolis, Indiana. And during this one year of inactivity, he twice agreed to fight Corey Sanders for the off-brand title belt that Sanders holds. And ultimately, when that fell through, agreed to fight David Tua as well. None of those fights took place, thus the long strength of inactivity off which he comes into this fight. He insists that he can punch harder than Corey Sanders. I don't know how he knows that, but if it's true, then anything is possible because Corey Sanders is a very serious heavyweight puncher. If you're wondering why Vladimir Klitschko was at one point a 10 to 1 favorite, you note that Lehman Brewster lost to Clifford ATN and to Charles Schubert, neither of whom is going to win any heavyweight popularity contest. <laughs> and Schubert was an easy victim to Klitschko here in Las Vegas a couple of years ago. So they're both in the ring now. Let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Mandalay Bay of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Don King Productions is proud to present 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBO Heavyweight Championship of the World. Sponsored by CM Exchange and brought to you in association with Universum Boxing and in association with Bird Galata, HBO pay-per-view, April 17th. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman John Bailey, Executive Director Mark Ratner. The three judges in attendance at ringside scoring this on the 10-point must system will be Dwayne Ford from the United States, Jerry Roth, also from the United States, and Paul Thomas from England. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge working in a world title belt for the 65th time, Robert Byrd. And now, from the Mandalay Bay of Las Vegas, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Yeah. 
Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing gold trimmed with black, and officially weighing 226 pounds. He has an excellent professional record, 31 bouts, 29 victories, including 26 knockouts with only two defeats. And he dedicates this night to Bill Slayton. From Los Angeles, California, the NABO heavyweight champion and WBO number two ranked heavyweight in the world, relentless Lehman Brewster. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red, and his official weight is 243 pounds. His professional record stands at 44 bouts with 42 victories, including 39 knockouts against only two defeats. From Kiev, Ukraine, the number one WBO heavyweight contender and former WBO heavyweight world champion, the steel hammer, Dr. Vladimir. All right, gentlemen, I gave you instructions in the dressing room. The only thing I'm going to tell you now is when I tell you to stop, that means stop whatever you're doing. Give me a clean break. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. This is a championship fight. I expect a championship effort. Let's do it. Vladimir Klitschko has gone from the next big thing to the last big bust <laughs> to the next what? <laughs> That's what we've come here to see. There's a guy in Brewster's corner who's painted his face green. I wonder if it's meant to signify money. <laughs> There'll be some of it available if he can win this fight. But well, there's a big lotto ticket across the ring. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Not as big a lotto ticket as he was a year ago. And already, Vladimir Klitschko shows that he has been trying to learn how to hold an opponent when the opponent tries to attack him with big punches. He was prepared for this. Emmanuel Stewart felt that Brewster was going to come out and try to make an emotional street fight out of it. And yes. now Klitschko tries to go to work behind the jab as Brewster continues to try to jump inside. So Emmanuel thought that the first round here might be similar to Mike Tyson against Lennox Lewis in Memphis, where he knew that Tyson would come out and try to swarm Lennox right away. And that's what Brewster better keep doing because if he stays outside, he doesn't have a chance. And there's the left hook, which helps to set Vladimir's offensive skills apart from those of so many other heavyweights. So many big heavyweights, boy, only throw the one-two. Vladimir Klitschko has a good left hook. Yeah, he does, and he has very good hands. He uses both hands well for a big heavyweight, and that's different. Don't push. Let's go. Let's go. That was different, too. That may have just scared the rest of the fight out of Brewster. You know, you don't see a lot of European fighters do something stop, like stop, that. Stop, stop, Don't spend it. Let's they go. don't do that much either. <laughs> So we see that the Americanization of Vladimir Klitschko is indeed underway. There are moments here that clearly have come straight out of his gym experience in Los Angeles. And the left hook lands again. And he hasn't even thrown it right yet. One time. I'm not sure the layman has actually landed a clean punch so far. He has it, and I don't think he'll get a chance to like this. Klitschko gets the jab and the left hook going and rocks Brewster back. Yeah, he won't get a chance to let a person fight outside. There's no way he can win this fight from outside. This becomes target practice at that range. And if Lehman Brewster's going to stand out there, it won't last. Not no time at all. So he throws a low blow and hits Vladimir well below the belt. Let's go going back to work with the left hand. Jab, left hook, jab again. Brewster's taking some pretty severe shots, and he's still active. 
Yeah, but he has to land some pretty severe shots to get some respect. Right. And he hasn't really taken a big right hand yet. Let's go. You're certainly having fun establishing his left, though, isn't it? Yes, he is. <laughs> That's a good jab hook by Vladimir. Oh, stop! I got you. Step out. Step out. That's all. Relatively easy round for Vladimir Klitschko, with, except I, for having to fend off those big leaps. I scored that a two round, a two point round for Klitschko. Brewster hardly did anything and caught a lot of punches. Now he's slowing down. He's doing just right. Just keep it. Now he slows down more after the next round. Then you keep working. Left hooks is working good. Just keeping him off balance. And then right keeps with the right hands. Good round. I know he's a little physical, but won't be as much as him. Relax, baby. It's like you're trying, okay. trying too hard to okay. get in there. Yeah. Too hard. Yeah. There's been a slip, but when you get in, you let the ones go. Touch him. And then it opened up in all the doors, okay? Okay? Go with deep as a okay. man. You got to change your hands when you get there, okay? Okay. Stay relaxed. Here you see Vladimir using that long jab, there he faked the jab and hit Brewster with a hook and followed it with a beautiful straight right cross. If Brewster stays out on the end, he's going to taste this all night long. Well, he certainly took a lot of punishment in that round, and it speaks well for his conditioning and determination, but he, he can't take too much of that. You heard Sadid Saluki, the trainer in Rooster's Corner, saying you got to get inside. They seem fairly calm about what happened in round one. Obviously, Emmanuel Stewart was very pleased. Again, Vladimir Klitschko holds Brewster, and this is something that he simply wasn't even thinking of doing a year ago. The Klitschkos thought that tactical holding was almost uh, illegal. Dishonorable. Good hook by Brewster. Yes, sir. Lehman Brewster lands his first solid shot of the fight. I'm impressed by the usage of his jab. That's what a tall fighter should do. He should use that jab just like he's doing his left hand. That's a beautiful weapon he's using. Now Klitschko whacks a right cross on the side of Brewster's face. Let's go. After popping him several times with the jab, CompuBox numbers in round one found Klitschko throwing 55 jabs when he wasn't throwing Brewster off of it. Brewster turned the head to loose. Hard left took to the body by Brewster. Vladimir didn't That's seem to like it all that much. Don't Nobody lean on does. Don't lean on no. Let's go. I tell you what, too. Brewster has to stop letting Vladimir lean his weight down on him like he's doing. He's making, ah, he's making Brewster tired. Let's go. This is something up which Lennox Lewis has been a master over the years. <laughs> using his giant body to simply wear opponents down by leaning on them. Brewster got another left hook to the body. Klitschko chased him across the ring, wanting to throw a right hand. Don't lean on him, don't lean on him. That Klitschko jab is a beautiful weapon tonight. Target practice. Pounding Brewster's face with the jab. Brewster still trying to get at that Vladimir body with the big left hook that he's landed twice to the ribcage in this round. Klitschko stepping back and then setting up to throw the jab again. I think he's throwing those soft shots to the body to try to get, bring Klitschko's guard down so he can shoot a right hand over the top. I think he's trying to set a trap. Good left hook by Klitschko, taking the jab again and throwing the left hook. One more time he does it. Now the straight right hand, and another straight right hand lands flush. Better round for Brewster, but still a very easy round for Vladimir oh, stop, Klitschko's stop, stop, stop. big left hand. That's all. Time. On April 24, okay. older much, brother much, Vitaly Klitschko takes his right claim right to the heavyweight championship right against Corey Sanders, the man who beat younger brother Vladimir. Also that night, former 147-pound champion Vernon Forrest will take on Teddy Reed as he moves up to 154. Okay, don't let him do that. Yeah, keep I touching him, fainting, go, but you got to keep going forward. Stay low and going forward, all right? Beautiful fight. 
And you're wearing them out. You've been very physical with them. So you start to get tired now. Good fight. Perfect. Let's go. Your jab, left jab is clearly ahead, but he has a tendency sometimes to be over aggressive and and uh, wear himself out. So he's got to be careful of that. Part of what happened in the Ross Purity fight, where yeah, he when simply he just, ran out of gas. He just punched himself out. And that may be what Booster's waiting on. Booster tries to shoot the left hand to the body again. Yeah, but you don't want the guy to punch himself out on you. <laughs> Don't do that. Vladimir Stop. once again gets his big body over the back of Brewster and leans on it. Robert Bird says, don't do it. But the damage is done. He almost did it again. Yeah. Now, Roy, fight people worry about a guy being gun shy after losing a big knockout. Do you see any sign of that? No, no, he's not showing any sign of being gun shy. He's very comfortable right here in front of Brewster. He's not running from the punch. That's a good shot. Big left hook on the face, and he was hurt. Brewster got to Vladimir's weak chin. Yeah, his legs are hurt very bad. Now, now you may see some panicking. He holds and clinches as Brewster goes to his body. Vladimir's starting to get some of his senses back, but he was clocked by the big left hook. Because he's straight up in the air waiting again. That's what people wanted to see. And he seems to be getting tired now. Hard not to get tired when you're that big, right? Yes, it is. Rick, step out. Let's go. Rooster may be pulling a cagey game here. If he just stay, stay composed. He got in the one big shot. Let's go goes back to firing the jab. So the danger is established as Glitchko did not handle the left hook well. What's impressive about Booster so far is that he's able to take those shots. That's what's impressing me. Yeah, hurt one two by Klitschko. Brewster takes it well, comes back with a right hand of his own. If Brewster continues to take these shots, though, it's going to start to take Vitaly's uh, confidence. Vladimir. Vladimir's confidence, my bet. That's okay, I had the wrong Sphinx earlier. I'm just going to start calling him Pitchco. <laughs> well, Roy, somebody may have to fight you. one up. We better know who they are. Got it? Let's go. Well, if his chin is like that, I think he'll stay away from me. Too big a punch, huh? Yeah. Good shot. Hard right hand shot by Klitschko. Brewster's game isn't to try to win rounds, obviously. Sadid Saluki, Brewster's Good trainer, round. went into the middle of the ring to try to tell referee Robert Bird he's not happy he's with him allowing Vladimir to lean up. over and hold Blaine Brewster. He's hitting good. Pretty soon you go to up the cut. Yeah. You gotta, if your hands are free inside, use them. You hold it. Don't hold too much. Okay. Okay. You want to go head, body, body, head. And let your jab. Double the jab up. He get underneath the right hand, hit him with a left foot. When he ducked under the right hand, hit him with a left foot. Here you see Brewster playing a little possum to get himself close enough to sneak this left hand lead in. And really that was a good jab. That wasn't even a left hook. So had it been a left hook, it would have done much more damage. What you're saying is he almost knocked him wobbly with a jab. Right. Then you see Crisco come up with that long one-two and bring that right hand right down the pipe on Brewster. And Brewster cannot continue to get hit with that punch. How do you have it through three? You know, Jim, I'll tell you something. To me, Vladimir Klitschko got hurt so bad in the beginning of the third round, I gave it a lemon Brewster. I mean, he really got wobbled, and that's all whoa, there is whoa, to stop, it. Stop, stop, I, I mean, stop, he jammed stop. beautifully the rest of the round. I mean, you couldn't take the, the, the last two minutes of the round away from him, but certainly he got hurt badly in the beginning of the round. Two to one, Vladimir Klitschko, and Robert Bird has won these two guys for everything under the sun. Incredible job by Robert Bird. Well... 
At last I found somebody to disagree with as much as I used to disagree with George Foreman. <laughs> One punch does not a round make when you get hit so many punches in return. Oh. That's your way of saying you scored the round for Vladimir. Huge right hand by Klitschko. What Rooster Br Br can take a shot. He really is impressing me the way he's taking all these shots tonight. But he better stop taking this many shots because it's gonna wear out, wear down, wear him down sooner or later. Don't push! Don't push! Let's go! Alfred tells Vladimir not to push. Oh, good luck to the fight by Brewster. That was a good luck by the shot by Brewster. Right on Brewster's nose. But the way Vladimir took the body shot tells you his chin is weaker than his stomach. Yes, sir. He's not thinking about that body shot. He doesn't have a glass body. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> doesn't have glass ribs. Tried to get in an uppercut. Threw it from too far away. Good right hand. Good chopping right hand. Oh, over. down will boost it. Left hook. Not going to be ruled a knockdown because Bird oh. is going to say that Vladimir simply threw him down. But Brewster's wobbly on his legs. That was a knockdown. I, I agree with you. Straight right hand by Vladimir Klitschko. There's another one. And here comes a knockdown. There's another one. I told you he would wear down from all those punches sooner or later. Five, six, seven. Can't continuously get hit by a big man like that. There's a lot of time left in this round, and Brewster has no legs. Klitschko did a good job of bodying him off to get in another right hand. Yes, he did. I don't care how tough you are, you don't want to let a big man continue to punish you like this. Another hard shot to the body by Brewster. He got one in. Vladimir is just looking to land one big right hand and put him through the ropes. Yeah, but Vladimir going to be careful not to push himself out. He knows he's a victim of being punched out. getting his consciousness back a little bit, and the danger arises for Klitschko that he gets hit with a big counter. Bird pulls him off again after Klitschko landed one more little right hand. Brewster's going to make it out of the ring as they tackle each other in the corner. What a round. You see uh, Chris Collin a straight right lead and boom there's a hook that hurt Brewster. Can't really tell if it was a flush shot or not. Oh that was a great right hand by Klitschko that did drop Brewster right behind the jab that he's been landing all night long. So there might have been two knockdowns in the round as it is. One is ruled official. <laughs> right, Larry? Well, I was just wondering how brave Brewster's corner is. I know this is the opportunity of a lifetime and a Go there. Go heavyweight there. always has a chance. There. But he's taking a tremendous amount of punishment in this fight. Full time. Let's go. Let's go. Round now, five of the scheduled 12. After all, it is a fight, and you have to remember that Crisco does tire. And that's why I think his corner's really together. There's significant swelling outside the right eye of Vladimir Klitschko from one of Brewster's left hands or more. But meanwhile, Vladimir continues to land power shots against a layman Brewster who really doesn't have craft at this moment. Another right hand shot. Oh, that's, that, that's going to do it sooner or later. So hopefully somebody will step in. Nobody can take this. No, he's not going to continue to take this. But now, Klitschko is relaxing. He thinks this is pure target practice. So maybe Brewster's trying to set him up. Again. I wouldn't want to set anybody up <laughs> by taking those shots. 
But I guess that's what a prize fighter does. I mean, Roy makes an interesting point because look how lazy Klitschko is with his hands now. Exactly. All Lehman has to do is land that big punch. is not defending over. himself at all. Because he's not worried. A hook right off of that Vladimir's hook right there would have ended the fight. And now Brewster seems to be covered up a little stop, better. Stop. And Klitschko once again is tired, <laughs> breathing with his mouth open. You throw this many punches, it'll wear you out. There's another huge right hand <laughs> shot, and Brewster keeps coming. Why won't he throw his and own shots back left. though? starting to like the fight as Brewster matches Klitschko's rights with a couple of laps. Klitschko dead tight. That's his cut. Klitschko's eye. Oh, that's a huge left cut. And Vladimir's in trouble now. We've got a short fest going and Vladimir Klitschko's. Let's get it to And Robert Byrne. Oh, Is that a standing eight count? Yes, yeah, Klitschko is dead. He said no, it was not a standing eight count. He ruled that because he went into the ropes as hard as he did it. It was a knockdown. Now, Klitschko is dead tired. He doesn't even want it anymore. He's done. He will not make it out of this ground. Let's go. German trainer Fritz Zedunik said that if Vladimir got knocked out by Lehman Brewster, he should quit boxing. Well, he's going to quit there because he's already going out of here. He can't come back. He has no punch of power. His hands are gone. He does not know how to fight like this. This is one of his big things. He can't fight this type of fight. This is not what Vladimir knows. Is he going to call that a knockdown? It should be. No, it's a, not a knockdown. It happened after the bell. And now Robert Burke stops the fight. Robert Burke takes a look at Vladimir Klitschko and decides he can't continue and stops the fight. And that may be the end of the Vladimir Klitschko heavyweight contender story. Well, it probably is. He punched himself out early. Remember, we talked about as early as the second and third rounds that he looked tired. He was taking, uh, he was throwing a tremendous number of punches, and he let Brewster off the hook somehow in the last round while he was tired. And Lehman Brewster gets the win of a lifetime on a night when it looked as though he couldn't conceivably survive the beating he was taking. A combination of fatigue, and now we have to say it, a weak chin for a heavyweight. Very. You know, we've had some heavyweights, a lot of heavyweights with great chins, a few of them with good chins, but you can't fight in this weight class unless you have at least a good chin. Vladimir's chin makes Lennox Lewis look like granite. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever see that. It's not so much of his chin as it is his heart, though. He's like a dog that can't fight from the bottom. This is a guy who won an Olympic super heavyweight gold medal, who was as good as any amateur boxer in the world, who rose rapidly in the pros. Did he succeed too much too soon to have heart? Nope, he did not. He just never had it. It's just that he was so big, you never got a chance to see him fight from the downside. Do you think his older brother, Vitaly, has a markedly different personality? He has to not to uphold the family image or else he'll be disgraced. So Here's he, another look at how Lehman Brewster ultimately set a trap and defused Vladimir Klitschko. There's how Klitschko finished the round, and Robert Byrd waited for him to try to make it back to the corner. And when Vladimir finally got up after about 15 or 20 seconds, as brother Vitaly rooted for him to come to the corner, Byrd looked at him and waved his arms. That was that. So Lehman Brewster gets a win in a fight in which he took a monstrous beating. Yes, he did. A real monstrous beating. And Don King has a smile as, as wide as the strip in Las Vegas. <laughs> Brewster right now is, is praying and is also remembering his trainer and father figure, Bill Slayton, who died within the past year 
and whom he loved dearly. And I bet Bill Staten is very proud of him now. And it took something like that for him to maintain his focus through all he went through. Had it not been for losing someone close to him just as Buster Douglas did, he would not have sustained this much punishment tonight. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Mandalay Bay, referee calls a halt to the contest. The official time is at the end of the fifth round. It is a TKO, the winner, with dedication to the memory of Bill Slayton and now WBO heavyweight champion of the world, relentless Lehman. punches in the fight. Vladimir Klitschko landing 120 out of 311. Maybe he threw too many. He Lehman did. Brewster landing 43 out of 158. You're right. He did throw too many punches, and that's why I said when he said maybe they should stop the fight. No, don't stop the fight because Klitschko has a history of tiring. He put out too many punches in that round not to finish Lehman Brewster off. You know he didn't have no more than a round left in him after that. And He's power punches, big. and you can see that Vlad these numbers at this point mean nothing other than <laughs> that the last few power punches Brewster threw and landed were the difference in the fight. There you go. In the ring, the Brewster celebration has gone on for quite some time, but now Larry has the winner. Not tonight, but you know it will be. You can rest assured that. You can rest assured that. All right. Thank you. There's a lot of chaos, happy chaos in this part of the ring. Uh, so I didn't hear your call, Jim. Congratulations, Layman. I guess the question that comes to our mind is you took so much punishment uh, until the end. What kept you going? How did you keep standing? Now, now, do you believe in God? I told you. When God, when God chooses a man. No, what you told us was yes. that that Bill, that you would do this for Bill Slayton. So I guess mm -hmm. put the question another way: I did. the kind of conditioning and and determination you had. Does that come from that kind of desire? That goes back to God. Bill's a spirit because of God, but this is what I want to tell you. The reason why I endured a lot is because I looked at his tapes. Excuse me. If you guys don't shut up, I'm going to stop this interview, okay? We're not interviewing you. We're interviewing the fighter who just won a big fight. Sorry, they're just excited. Excuse me. What I want to say is that I know he's a tough guy, okay? I know he can punch. But what I wanted to do was show that Americans don't lay down. You hit us, you hit us, and we just keep going, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how this. That's yeah, how the I world was it. won. I didn't do it. I knew he would get tired. Maybe he'd get tired of hitting me, but he was going to get tired of me coming to him, standing in his face, putting pressure on him. I could have did a lot of be a lot better job. But, hey, I've been off for a year and, and a month now. Did, but was, it, was it part of your thinking going into the fight that if I can withstand him, that he'll get tired and I'll still be there? No. I told you in the interview, I would be formless. I wouldn't say what I would do going in because if it didn't work, then you'd be lost. I went in there and said, okay, this didn't work. Okay, this didn't work. Oh, I hear him breathing hard. He's close to me. I'm, I'm starting to touch him to the body. I start touching him with Jack. When did you start to hear him breathe hard? Let him get his love Second round, I start hearing him. He hit me with some good shots, and he saw that, that no matter what he hit me with. Be quiet, be quiet. Be All right, quiet. but then you get knocked down in the fourth. You get knocked down in the fourth round, and you barely made it out of it. What were you I feeling at that? I was gonna get up. I told you he's gonna have to kill me to beat me. He didn't have enough to kill me, so he got beat. It's kill or be killed. I was trying to get him. All right, like he's trying to get me. All right, tell us what happened. Look at the monitor, please, Lamont, and describe what you, what happened at the end of the fight. Could you see that he was hardly able to stand at that point? Yeah. I mean, man, you know, it's easy to punch when you punching, but when the rabbit got the gun, can you take it? I didn't hit him nearly as much as he hit me, but look at where he's at. Look at what I, I got the belt, you know? Is it fair to say you have the belt because you had the chin? I had the heart. The heart. Because it ain't about the chin. You know, I had the heart. Like I said, when God is with you, can't no man be against you. I didn't say how I was going to win. I told you I was going to win. Right. Don King, like I said, he was up to bat for me. 
He's been out there, and that's why I'm here. Thank you very much, Lamont. Jim.